Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've been out and about with the camera to be quite honest. I've been so busy with work and we just brought our first holiday home as well so I've been sorting that out as well. I've been going down there checking that out which is a good thing actually because it's on the east coast. So hopefully next year I'll be doing a lot of seascape photography, practicing some long exposures so I've got that to look forward to as well. And plus as well, if you saw my my last video, I was um, been away in Poland as well. So anyway, what I want to do today is just come out about the camera and do a little tutorial because I don't do many tutorials. Um, I feel like a little bit confident now that I want to do some tutorials. And um, what I want to do is show you how I focus and try and get my images pin sharp. So I'm going to take out three features today. That's what I'm hoping to do. One, I want to do like a macro shot and show you how I focus in on that. One, I want to do like a landscape rolling um, sort of image and show you how I focus into that. And something like, I don't know, a tree for instance, on how I just focus in on that, just that one subject and go through all the settings and I'll show you on the back of my camera what I'm actually doing and what helps me try and get a sharp image. So that's what I want to do today. And um, so yeah, so I'm just walking around. I've just come to my local woods. I've just finished work. So I want to come out and about. And um, not only that, I need to lose about a stone and a half because <laughs> uh, I've put on a few pounds over the summer. So yeah, that's, what, that's my plan for today. So once I've found something, um, I will sh um, get all set up and explain what I'm trying to do. I've been walking around this, um, I don't know, this meadow, as it's called a meadow. There is some some nice, some plants, there's some chicory over there, but I've already taken some pictures of some chicory. There's some nice wildflowers here as well, some um, dandelions. Um, really want to do is like a little macro picture on this bit of land here. And just to show you guys how I zoom in on a bit of macro photography and how I do it. So I'm going to walk around and see what I can find. There is some nice wild plants. There's some um, dandelions. You know, I just wanna find a nice composition. And when I do, of course, like I normally do, I explain what I'm actually trying to do and how I focus in on that particular subject. Right guys, I found my first composition. I found a little, I'm sure they're called ox tongue. If I, if I got it wrong, then I'll put the correct spelling here. But anyway, I found my first composition. I've been walking around this meadow, where I just said about, and I've just come across this um, ox tongue. It looks like a dandelion. First of all, I thought it was a dandelion. Um, but what I've done, I've already set up my shot, already set up my composition. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and show you the back of the camera on how I would focus in this micro photography shot um, using the Canon 90D. So once I've, I've set up and got all the, the cameras looking at my camera, if you know what I mean, anyway, I can talk you through the shot and show you how I focus in on this shot. All right, guys, as you can see, this is my composition, and all of a sudden the wind has got right up and it's blowing around. But what I can do, the wind will stop down in a minute, it has been for the last five minutes. But as you can see, these are my camera settings f5.6. I've gone for a fast shutter speed, which is one. 160th of a second ISO 100 and this is basically how I focus in I've let the camera do the 
um, auto focusing on this and then you can actually back focus I think it's called and on the Canon which is this button up here I'll put it on there let's just see it zooms in and you can actually see you can't really see on the camera I'm using that it's actually focusing on that area which I'm quite happy about um, I've got some nice bokeh on this image as well so basically all I've got to do is take the picture two second timer leave it alone let it take the picture and there you go and then on this on this camera now let's just go back to that image okay then if I'm happy with that you can actually zoom in with this camera like you do and then zoom in and yeah as you can see I can zoom in on that picture I've just taken on the camera and I'm quite happy with that picture well that's my first photo done showing you how I focus in really using the Canon camera making sure I'm getting a nice clean clear image I am thinking of upgrading this lens I'm using at the moment it's the Canon 55 to 250 mil um, I'm, I'm thinking of upgrading that lens because I like to do a little bit of macro photography and um, also as well I'm getting into wildlife photography as well and this le this camera I'm using uh, the lens I've got at the moment should I say not the camera the lens it's just not that quick enough when you're doing um, especially wildlife photography taking pictures of birds and animals because it, it just literally it's not a quick focus lens so it's all right if you're doing something like this um, but yeah I will be upgrading this lens so um, that'll be my next uh, my next big um, purchase I would say so anyway that's how going back to this actual picture I'm still looking on in the back of the camera it looks quite nice it's nice and clear nice and sharp and, um, and what I'm going to do is show you that one now Right guys, after walking around literally for about an hour, I think I found my next composition. It's going to be like a subject, like I said, and I just found this nice little branch hanging off this um, off this tree, and you got some wood, you got some um, some fields behind it. So what I'm trying to do, I just want to focus on this this branch that's that's going across this little pathway bit here. So what I'm going to do, like I've done before. I'm going to all set up and show you all my camera settings and again on on what settings I'm going to use and, and on how I'm going to focus in to make sure this branch is nice and sharp. Right guys, this is my composition as you can see. This is the branch coming down. The pathway is just here. Then you've got the rolling field, field behind it. But where as you can see, this is where I want to focus in. I want to get this branch in focus. I'm not particularly worried about the field. It may be a bad composition, but I'm not really worried too much about that at the moment. I just want to show you on how I focus on a subject like this branch, or it could be a tree. So again, I've overexposed this, the back of the camera, so you can actually see, see what I'm trying to do. So yeah, so I'm on F8 at the moment. Um, it's giving me if shutter speed if I'm going to go down to the proper exposure. So this is giving me the proper show about 140th, 150th of a second, ISO 100, and I'm shooting in raw mode. So um, you know I can process this and bring out the highlights, especially around this area. It's a bit dark. I did think about photo, um, photo bracketing this image, but. I just want to show you guys on how I actually focus on an image like this. It's just the focusing at the moment. So if you go back to the back button, as you can see, and the camera will actually give you a quick flash of light, as you can see there. And that will tell me that's actually focused in on that image, on that, on that tree there, that tree branch. So I'm going to take a couple of shots and it gives me the image. Like I said before, I'm not particularly worried about this because I can actually bring that out in post and, um, and um, and so you can actually see it. So I'm gonna take a couple more. As you can see, all my settings are right at the moment. It's telling me I'm like a little bit underexposed, especially around this area. But like I said before, I'm not worried about that. So what I do, once I process this image, and um, hopefully it turns out all right, and here's the image. <laughs>
last shot, I've literally really struggled to find a composition, especially in these hilly, um, these these hilly landscape to get like a, a foreground, a middle, and a background. So I've come up with this little composition. It's not the best, um, but it will give you an idea on how I would focus through this scene. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin you around, and like I've done before, I'm going to show you the back of the camera so you can actually see what I'm trying to do. So here's the composition I'm trying to do. You've got these berries coming down here, and you've got this little tree here in the middle, and then you've got this tree in the background. Um, so what I'm trying to do with this little composition is it's focusing on focus on different parts of this image so when i come to show this image when it's finally finished that everything is sharp all the way through so here's the back of the camera as you can see i focus whoops as you can see i focused in on the berries so i'm going to go forward so this will be my first shot so i'm going to take this shot as it is as you can see my settings f8 um, 1 15th of a second ISO 100. So I'm going to take this shot first, let it go off, and then I am literally going to come back into the camera. And now I'm focusing in on that tree. Let's get it right in the middle of that tree. There you go. Let's just bring it in and make sure it's all focused in. Yep, so I'm going to take another shot, which I'm quite happy with that. So then I'm going to take Another, another, excuse the shake, image on, let me have a look. This tree here, as you can see, I've now let the camera focus in on that tree. As you can see now, the berries are all, um, the berries are all blurry. So it's just focus in, as you can see, it's focus up and that tree is all nice and sharp. So I'm gonna take that image. So now I have three images, which are focused throughout of the, um, throughout the composition i can you know people might turn around and say oh why don't you knock up the f number um to f11 but this is not what i'm trying to do this is more for oops i've set the camera off now um this let me just turn you around so i can talk to you more okay so what's to talk about yeah i could go up to f11 but i feel sometimes with f11 it's not sharp all the way through the image and um, the camera will try and focus on different parts. So if you're doing this photo stacking, a lot of photographers will do this, then you know your image is clean all the way through. I may crop, crop in um, just a part of it on the final process because there's loads of like empty space just here on the image. Um, yeah. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, once I process this image, I'll put up all the settings. I'll show you the program, I will tell you the program as well, what I actually use to, um photo stack this image because i use the canon's own photo program to do this i can't remember what it's off my head um but i will put it here anyway and that is the program i use to photo stack it's a nice simple program i think there's a video i've done before on processing um photo stack imaging using the camera um software so like i said before once um i'm happy with this image and it's all been processed i'll show you that one now Right guys, that's my um, my little video today on how I actually focus in my camera. Like I said before, I use the Canon 90D. Um, I have to pulled off some nice shots before. I put one here, it's one of my favorite shots. I might have done it before with a squirrel and, um, and the focus on that was bang on. I really liked that one. But yeah, so, um, so if I'm out and about doing my woodland photography, as you know, that's what I really like doing, it's, that's my favorite, being out in the open, being on my own, taking in some nature. Like I said before, it's really good for my own well-being. So yeah, so that's how I focus in or make sure my images are nice and sharp. It's not about the aperture, it's not about the shutter speed today. It's just purely on um, me using the camera to focus and that's what I wanted to show today. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. So please like, please subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye.